Zillion yeah. is locked in. So even if Immortals do find themselves in a yep. bad situation, they can just Stop. Rono shift it right on back. Typical Rek'Sai strategy, but they already warded it. They did a great job already. And he's oh, still gonna go for it. Okay, forward, rain over flash, knock up onto Apollo, who dodges the bubble despite the exhaust. So, first gank attempt from rain over. Yeah, they still chunk him out too, so. Oh, he's actually gonna find this Rek'Sai spear. Ooh. Goes wide with red buff, it's burning down, so he does get some damage. Oh. It doesn't even clear the tunnel either. It just yeah. doesn't wanna waste time there because the top lane, or I guess the dual lane, was on its way. Oh, he still sees they, that. They, they didn't ward though. this. They didn't ward this. They didn't ward this. Mortals so. have to know he's there. Flash Tether finds Adrian. He's still got his own. No, he's caught by the snare. First blood on the shrimp. Slow finds Wild Turtle. He's got heal. Uses it to keep himself alive, but eats a large chunk. Takes some damage from Mooney, who is level six. Yeah, he hit six. He didn't realize it. Oh, misses that overload, but he still gets some good damage. Ray levels up. Oh, and Onslaught's out. Yeah, Huni had Flash there. If he was able to Flash, follow up, land another ability, then it would have been the Death Array. Levels up from the minions on the side. Stops the recall. Uh, look at Wild Turtle's experience. He is so close to six. If he hits six, they will engage this with an arrow. Yeah, Rain over like down 100%. there. Like 100%. He gets level six. There goes the arrow. Ray doesn't have an escape. No ghost. He's going to be knocked up by Rain over. This is a kill for Immortals. But Apex going to try to head Immortals off at the pass. Shrimp at the front eats a lot of damage. Huni. Takes a snare. He's got his own flash. Bullets dodge. Oh, and he makes it over oh. the wall. But Immortals are doing the same it, on the opposite side. The tier two yeah, already goes it, down. It's three and four. Like, uh, Ray is mid lane right now. He's in the mid lane. He's not uh, accomplishing too much. Now he's running towards the top side. You can see the minimap in the middle of your screen at the bottom. And Apex are just too slow. They're actually going to yeah. lose this inhibitor turret. Ray is rushing down there. He's got the Onslaught of Shadows, but it's too late and it goes down. Immortals again get the better of Apex in the turret trade. Yep. Maybe a little bit scarred. I don't know. But also, he's up against double teleport. Whoa. And Shrimp. Immortals collapse on Shrimp in the jungle and make him pay, stealing the kill and the red buff. Like, you can't make that type of play where you get two turrets ahead off of individual skill. It's off of the wave manipulation. It's off of the macro play. And Poe Belter. Ooh, Chrono shifts to dodge the fourth bullet, but the rest of Apex are still here. He's got Flash. They try to Counter. engage. Keen gets caught, but cleanses the stun right away. Ooh, Ooh that minion just Ray? not quite going far enough. Keen Ray pop laser. Goes. Ray's behind them. Yeah, there's the Chaos Storm. Ray comes in. Will he be able to knock Niles Wild Turtle in? He gets the double tap, but doesn't have enough damage to secure the kill. Amazingly, no one has died. It's special. Oh. It's double bob by Poe Belter, who's finally going to go down. Support for mid laner. And Immortals are going to be forced to back away. Well, Apex as well. I think Apex actually have less HP here. And because the Nami is around, they get to heal them up a bit. So Adrian's pick coming up huge. It's going to be another oh, turret here. Spear snare oh. by Tony. Laser. Oh, is not enough. Not oh, only almost. the heal, but also just out of range. Immortals break down the mid-tier ones. It has been heavily in favor of Immortals. Immortals, yeah. their engages have been better while Turtle's been playing fantastically. Whoa. And he's 60 CSL. Curtain has been dropped. Ray is chasing in. Doesn't have to go oh. inside. But the bullet snipes Adrian from long range. Keen chases forward, dodges one. Threading the needle out. there, getting between both Poe Belter and Wild Turtle to snipe out Adrian. I don't know if they managed to see Adrian, though, as Shrimp cheats forward with the rest of his team. They're trying to pick onto Shrimp. The CC chain is real. He's going to drop. Oh, right quick. And the tidal wave stops the curtain call. Poe Belter still has his chrono ship. He walks back in. Stop all damage on Poe Belter. Rain over flash. Knock up onto three. Ray in the front is going to go down as Immortals are doing some serious work to Apex. Apollo retreats as Huni is going to be dropped by Keen, kiting it out. Snare misses on the far side. That's two for one Immortals. Doesn't have the upgraded Chaos Storm just yet. Oh. He needs a lot of crowd control and goes oh. down as even Hooney gets an assist on that one. That's some dominance. And Keen, standing still, walked off to the left, didn't choose right, and Hooney was behind him anyway. It's a long lane, but he had flash, and that arrow really ruined his day. She's definitely back. 
Oh, they're gonna race down mid lane. Ghost is even used, but Hooney manages to get the snare. He shields himself up and Ray in the front goes down. Pole belts are flanking from behind, forces the flash out of keep. He's got cleanse. Will he be able to get out of the eventual stun? Is he taking a lot of damage? The bomb, oh no, he sidesteps. But Adrian, flash secure, ebb and flow. And Immortals turn up the pace once again. Keep fighting, they're a little bit stronger and yeah. they just push into the base. This will be their second inhibitor turret already. 23 minutes in, they're going to take this middle inhibitor and swing easily to the top one. Still 20 seconds before Keen gets up. The Spear finds uh, some good damage on the Wild Turtle. Oh, there's the curtain call. Huni going to tank it up with Rainover. All of Immortals are lined up right now. Wild Turtle, ooh, Chrono Shift just in case that bullet was going to miss. Yeah, better safe than sorry there it out while Wild Turtle and Adrian are going to sneak on past Ray. They see him. He's not going to find exactly the people he wants, but oh, he's going to be able to, get to turn on the Hoonie. He's caught by the snare, and Ray slaughters him. A little bit of overkill there because he got really low from Shrimp, but still, an effective kill. They're, they're going to need that. Now they're looking for this final one. Keen gets some good damage. Flash knockup. He's going to be locked down. Cleanse gets him away. Tidal Wave forces the disengage, but Immortals are focused on the inhibitor turret. Flash there from Hooney. He goes Ray right onto Apollo. Ray is in the back line, but he doesn't have any backup. Hooney is snared. Chrono Shift means that he's going to be able to soak this damage as Immortals kick, pick up the turret and get the kill onto Ray. Hooney's back up at nearly full health. Three inhibs down and Apex are left standing there dumbfounded as Immortals are cleaning up their base, trying to end this series two to zero. Will they be able to do it though? They've got relatively low health. Shrimp in the front, tosses out a few spears, but doesn't quite have enough as the minions are being escorted in. Yep, that's what they're trying to do is just stall for these minions. Apex don't have enough in the tank. Oh, they turn it around on a Shrimp who's able to heal it up, but with Shrimp gone, that's the front line, and Immortals take the 2-0 in two 27-minute games.